Hi everyone, my name's Aaron and I am a new YouTuber, new to the scene. It's 2021 and I've said to myself, I'm going to start my YouTube channel, whether it kills me or not, because it's time. I am absolutely a huge fan of all YouTubers and the whole YouTube thing and I thought, it's 2021, so why not? So today I'm going to be doing a review on this product here, which a lot of my friends and family and Instagram friends and Facebook friends and everyone have all been talking about. And um, yeah, I've always wanted to try teeth whitening, so I got this for Christmas. And let's give it a go together, see what happens. Now me and my boyfriend got one of these each, and he's opened his, so I've kind of seen what's in it already, but this is my one, and we're going to open it together. Oh, oh wow. Okay, so I've got some little gum shields in here. Uh, oh, sorry, the company, by the way, is White and Be Beaconsfield, I think that's how you say it. Beaconsfield. And it is the Home Teeth Whitening Kit. Sorry, forgot to say that at the beginning. But yeah, we get two uh, little rubber gum shield things. Take them out of the packaging. And I'm guessing it's one for the top and one for the bottom. If I can get it out of the packaging. <laughs> And, um, yeah, they've got these little tag things on them. Oh, try this whole focusing thing. New camera, guys. Got the full setup. So, this won't be ultra professional, but we will move. So, two gum shields in the kit today. And then I've got loads of syringe things. Loads of these, like, I'm guessing this is, yeah, the whitening gel non-peroxide whitening gel. This is the little thing that we get. Can you guys see that? Yeah. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of those. Is there any more? Six of those in the pack as well. There's quite a lot in here, you know. Oh, some more gum shields. Two more. And, oh, the little white thing. Oh, white light thing. I think no, I've got one of these. Also, it comes with a UV light, I think. Oh, packaging. Oh, what's this doing? Does it work? Oh, it's a battery. I've got to turn it to put on. <laughs> this way to open. Are you sure? Oh. Okay. So I've lost my battery. <laughs> Let's try that again. Is it two batteries or one? Oh lord. We digress. <laughs> BRB. Right, okay, so what's going on here then? Right, lock. Oh, flatmate's home. Okay, we'll figure this light thing out in a minute because I cannot seem to figure that out. We get a little leaflet in here, which I'm guessing is the instructions are already on the back, but they're like more thorough on there and then i have got a oh this is cool a little professional teeth shade guide so i'm guessing you then put this against your teeth and then find out what color you already are and hopefully we'll get to oh i'll have to figure this out what, what shade am i let's zoom you guys in he says. So I would say, oh God, my teeth look gross. I would say I am. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> whoopsie. Sorry about that guys. And Oh my god, I cannot be this bad. Uh, my beard needs a trim too. Sorry about that. I would say I am a 15 or a 16. Oh, that is disgusting. Oh, we are zooming all the way in. And we're zooming back out again. <laughs> New camera. And so, oh, oh, okay, we have dropped. Let's... Oh, what's going on here? Am I not zoomed all the way out? Am I zooming back in? There we go. So, I am a 15 or a 16 on the shade guide. Not happy about that. So, that's where I'm currently at. 
Can you guys see that? So that's where I'm currently at. Obviously, we want to be getting to at least a three or a four because I am walking around with pirate teeth. Okay. So let's read the instructions together. So step one is your mouth tray. Practice placing the mouth tray over your teeth, both top and bottom, with your tongue against the roof of your mouth. Suck the air away from the tray until it begins to feel tighter. Well, oh, I'm guessing this is once you've already done the boiling of the thing. Right. <laughs> Scratch that. We'll start from the beginning. So, we'll go with the ones on the back because that tells you how to fit your mouth guard, shieldy, rubber teeth thing. And then I'm guessing you start with those instructions. So, oh no, no. <laughs> They're the same. I stand corrected. So, practice placing it over your teeth, blah, blah, blah. I've already read that. Uh, suck all the air away from the tray until it begins to feel tighter. And this will shape the tray to your teeth. When you're comfortable, continue with the next step. Boil the tray. Boiling the trays. Oh, putting in boiling water. So, boil the pan of boil a pan of water. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, approximately four inches. Oh, four inches of water. So, boil a pan of water approximately four inches in depth. The tray will then fully submerge and keeping the tab above water. I've got to hold it. Right. So. Do have water. After the water has come to a boil, turn the heat down to a simmer and comfortably place the trays into the water for five seconds. The trays will begin to become very pliable to the point of where they tend to stick together. Well, I don't want them to stick together, so... Let's carry on. The fitting. Lift the tray vertically and from the water using the tab carefully and quickly place the tray around your teeth immediately perform the procedure outlined in step one. That's a bit backwards, isn't it? Right, okay. So I'm guessing we do step two first, which is actually molding the trays, and then we go to step one, which is a bit backward, but we continue to molding it to your teeth. The fitting, lift the tray vertically from the water using the... This is so mixed up. These instructions are weird. Right. Lift the tray vertically from the water using the tab. Carefully, quickly place the water in your mouth. Outline the step one. Once you are satisfied with the fit of the tri um, of the fit, trim the front away from the trays with scissors. Make sure it's level with the front surface of the tray. Okay, winding time. The good bit. Brush and floss your teeth before continuing. Okay, place a small line of the whitening gel into the front portion of the trays. Cover the front six to eight teeth. You can only do the front? Surely not. Or less per tray. The gel might irritate the gums, so keep if the trays are too overloaded. So please insert the trays very carefully, keeping the gel just on your teeth and away from your gums. Okay, scary. <laughs> this might end with a trip to a &E, but we will continue, because this is what it's all about. So, using the lamp, Insert the light and wear the trays for 15 to 20 minutes. I've got to put the trays and the light. Lord, this is a lot. But okay. It's 15 to 20 minutes per session. Okay. If sensitivity or irritation occurs, please wait 24 hours between treatments. Be sure to rinse the trays thoroughly after use for peat process daily and. <sighs> My phone is ringing. Rinse the trays thoroughly after use and then repeat and the process daily until you reach your desired shade. Oh, so you get quite a lot of gel considering actually. Cool. Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to boil some water, do my trays, show you how I'm doing them and then we will go from there. So guys, I just did my boiling water. Now I was going to put it in a pan and then boil it on the stove and you know, do all of that shindig but I thought I'm going to boil the kettle anyway and then put it in a bowl. I've only got to hold it in there for five seconds, so it's basically simmering anyway. So we will continue and try it this way. If it doesn't work, then we will have to do it again. I've got about six shields anyway, so if it goes wrong, I'm guessing I can choose one of those. But anyway, so 
Got my shields, got my boiling water. It's fresh out of the kettle, so I'm guessing we just hold them in here for five seconds. Shove them in my gob, and then hope for the best. So it says, the trays will become very, very pliable at this point, and then they tend to stick together. Lift the trays vertically out of the water using the tab, carefully and quickly, and quickly place the trays around your teeth immediately perform the procedure step one. Now step one says, Practice placing the tray over your teeth, both top and bottom, with your tongue against the roof of your mouth. Suck all the air away and the tray begins to feel tighter. The shape of the tray on your teeth. When you're comfortable, continue with this next step. I'm nervous and I don't know why it's only a rubber thing, but I'm scared. Oh, by the way, before I do this, actually, even though the water's gonna get cold, so I'll hurry up. The little light thing, I finally got that working. Um, this is it. And um, there was a little plastic thing in between the batteries that you had to take out. Didn't see that until I read this tiny little note, which is on the back of the packaging, right there, which says, no, a small plastic strip is beneath the battery to cover on, uh, well, the battery cover of the light may need to be removed before use. So just a little tip, get that out before you spend five minutes like I did trying to figure out what's going on and is it broken and we're gonna have to try and get another one. Oh my God, I've lost my shield, where's it gone? Here we go. Right, so, one, two, three, four, five, two seconds left, six, seven. Oh my god, I don't want it. Oh, it's not good. Oh, They won't feel trying. <laughs> I have done this one. Oh. Let's try again. I'm gonna try doing the top one and then the bottom one because it ain't working. Well, I guess I could do them both actually. I don't know, I won't be able to put them in my, if they get stuck together, I won't be able to put them in my mouth with the white and stuff on. I am gonna mess this up, you know. Let's try this again separately. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't think the water's hot enough anymore, you know. The first one done. Now it's time to do the second one. I might need to get some more water, you know. I'm gonna keep this in so I can just make sure that it's fully cold down in my mouth. <gasps> Guys, when I tell you I had a traumatic situation right there, I had a traumatic situation. I poured boiling, well, the kind of boiling water everywhere, it went absolutely everywhere, all over the table, all over the floor all over me, so we had to have a little clean up pit stop moment. So my first one is fitted, which is here. That went well. I think it's best, I find it easier to do both separately, so I'm now gonna do my bottom one. So, 
Pop it in there for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And then. as I can get out. It feels tight. Again, leave it for a little bit longer just so it's definitely cooled down because this is my last one. So now we have got to move on to the next step. I'm just going to wait until I take this thing out of my mouth if I continue. Just... <laughs> it's kind of gross, but things we do for beauty. Pretty hurts. Right. Now we've got to cut off these little taggy things on there because they'll get in the way of the light, so I'm gonna get some scissors. We have scissors. I'm gonna use some hairdressing scissors that I never used because they were bought for me as a gift and yeah, years ago, and I just use them to do things like this. So let's cut off these little taggy things. It says to cut it as close to the guard as possible without cutting the guard, so, and this is my last one, so let's hope I don't mess this up. Oh my God, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Okay. I think I did all right, you know. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I'm a hairdresser, by the way. <laughs> okay, I forgot to say that at the beginning. So yeah, that's why I have these scissors, obviously. And um, let's do the second one. I should be all right, considering this is my profession to cut straight lines, so yeah. Okay, so I've cut the tabs off both of those, and now apparently we put the gel in and then put it in for 20, 15 to 20 minutes. Oh, this is the bit I'm really scared about. Especially because my trays didn't go a lot well at the beginning, but you know. Right, so once I've done that, brush and floss your teeth before continuing, place a small line. So I'm now gonna go and brush and floss my teeth and then I am going to put the gel in and the light and we shall be back. Brushing the stands away. Yeah. You probably don't wanna see that, but you've gotta do it for the YouTube. Right guys, so I have thoroughly brushed my teeth and am all fresh and ready to whiten. So, it says on the instructions, I'm following these to a T as best as I can because I want to make sure I do it properly and that you guys know that I follow the instructions. So, this review and this trying it out is going to be 100% for real and not just me winging it. So, we've done the trays, now we need to brush the teeth and floss and before continuing, which I have done, place a small amount of the whitening gel onto the front portion of the tray. Now by the front portion, I'm guessing they mean just on this bit and not at the back here. So that's what I'm going to do in the front portion. I'm guessing that's what, that's, that's what it means. What is my head doing today, you know? Don't you just wish your hoodies would stay like up like that all the time? Mine don't. It's probably because my head's too big, but we move. Anyway, so we are doing a small amount of whitening gel in the front portion of covering this. This is one thing that I'm not too keen on is that the... Kit is only designed for the first six to eight teeth at the front of your mouth. Which is kind of weird because, I mean, I know you don't see the back ones, but you still want them to be white, but... We continue. So, the gel might irritate the gums. We read that earlier, and if it's overloaded. So, it says to put a thin line, 75 cc's or less per tray. Now, I think it has a measurement on here. I don't know how that works, because you've only kind of got, as you can see, I don't know if you can see that, can you see that? Can you see that? Yeah, there we go. So, at the front it's got this measuring thing. Now, I was never good at this kind of stuff. There we go. I was never good at this kind of stuff, so I'm guessing, let's Google it. We live in a world where we can find out this information. What is 75 cc in millilitres? 75 millilitres. Well now, how the hell? I'm just gonna do it. It may just be me being stupid, but it says one, two, three on there. So I'm guessing it means what step one and then three. So I'm guessing there's only three per syringe. I don't know. Here we go. Oh, this is scary. So we're gonna put a thin line. 
just in the front part. I've just done like this much. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, I'm nervous. And then we just slowly put it in in a thin line. I'm probably going to be doing one way, not enough, because it does not look like a lot. And then I don't want to put too much in and then it burns my guns. So, do you know what? I've actually forgotten which one is which. This is the top one. I'm nervous. Oh, that's my life. Oh my goodness, honey. Where's the light? Uh huh. Holding that in for 20 minutes, my face is hurting. Girl, I'm snatched in July and holding this in every night. Oh. And by the way, don't try and answer the phone when you got on because it's not easy. Right, the gross part. So, BRB. Now, guys, I don't know if I did that right, but I don't know if I'm supposed to like drink or. I mean, what do you think? Ew. Okay. I mean, I'm seeing a little bit of a difference on these two teeth. This one needs some work. But, um, yeah, oh, grey bits on my beard. It is only the first time, though, so I'm not expecting miracles, but... I'm guessing... It doesn't say you brush your teeth or anything afterwards, so I'm guessing that you don't, but... Anyway... I'm not going to, because I'm guessing I'll just scrub it off, but or will it be harmful to him? I don't know. It doesn't say, so I'm not going to, and we shall see. This is going to be a part one video, because I think what I'm going to do is do it every night for the next week, and then um, we'll see what's happening at the end. And uh, do, I, do you want me, let me know down below in the comments if you want me to film every single time I do it, because if you do, then great, that's cool. I do not mind doing that at all. It will be a six. Actually, I'd say there's a few weeks in this, actually. Let me know. If you want to see every time I do it and the progression of it all, I'll take some pictures, maybe. Let me know if you want to see pictures on my Instagram, which I will put somewhere here for you, so you can all go and follow me on there. And I will be taking pictures of the progress along the way on there. But if you want me to do a video every time, let me know down below. Thank you for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe, even though it is my first video. But all the support would mean the world to me. And, um, yeah. Hope to hear from some of you to see if this video was good. And if you found it informal or informal. That is not the right word. If you found this video useful and uh, wanted to ask me any questions about the home whitening kit. Where is it? There we go. Let me know um, in the comments or uh, just private message me on Instagram. And um, yeah, I'll be happy to answer any of your questions. Not that I know what I'm doing because I am just using it because I got it for a Christmas present and seeing how we go. So I'll probably be able to tell you a lot less than Google or the company will. So maybe check out the company's website, see if it's something you're interested in. But yeah. Hopefully it works and I will look like I have done a little quick trip to Turkey in lockdown and have my teeth done. Let's pray because I'm a 15 slash 16 on the chart and that is not good. So thank you for watching guys and uh, see you soon. Bye.